Botox in a bottle. I hear this phrase all the time, all over TikTok, people claiming they can get Botox-like effects from products that are found in a bottle. So is it possible to have a product give you smoother skin, plumper skin, radiant skin, you know, make you look younger than stated age without any shots or needles? I'm Dr. Azadeh Shirazi. I'm a board certified dermatologist, which basically means I help people feel more confident in their skin. I'm also the founder of Ozzy MD Skincare, and I love to bring you educational content that is unbiased, unsponsored. So first off, let's just say when you compare Botox shots in the office to Botox in a bottle, you're kind of comparing oranges to apples, right? Because they're completely different entities. First, let's talk about what Botox is. There are really five neuromodulators that are like Botox in a way that they help stop the muscles in your face from contracting. And so when you're not able to frown or when you're not able to raise your eyebrows, you're not creasing up the skin, and therefore you're not getting wrinkles. And if you start Botox before you actually develop any deep wrinkles, you'll probably never get wrinkles. Botox also just helps make the skin look better. It makes your pores better. When you're not like stretching and pulling on the skin, the skin doesn't actually get stretched, you know, with time. And so that's how Botox works. Now it is a shot. It is a medication that comes in a injection form and it goes right into the muscle to have the effect. Now our ghrelin, which is a topical ingredient, works very similar to Botox. Now, if we are saying what is truly Botox in a bottle, it would be that ingredient because that ingredient has been shown to stop the nerves and the muscle from communicating, therefore reducing the contraction of muscles because really that is why we see lines and wrinkles on our faces with time is from moving muscles of facial expression that then create lines and so our ghrelin does do that, but here is the catch. We're not taking our ghrelin and putting it in a syringe and sticking into the muscle. So we're putting it on the surface of the skin. The question is how well can it actually get to the muscle, which is way below the skin layer. Now in certain areas, like around the eyes, the skin is very thin. And so potentially, yes, our ghrelin could May, maybe have an effect you know, on the muscle. Now, the more you apply the topical, the more concentrated and the more likely it's, it's gonna be able to absorb into the deeper layers. So I do find that it helps around the eyes. There are a couple of companies that make this. One is The Ordinary, which is very, very affordable. It's 10% Argyrelin. The other company is Depology, which has a serum, I actually have it right here, which has an Argyrelin complex that I believe if you even micro needle and apply this, it will enhance the absorption. But you know how I feel about micro needling at home, it has a lot of risks. So that is truly the most similar to Botox as an injection. Now, when people refer to Botox in a bottle, I think they're just saying that they want clear, smoother, tighter skin. And there are lots of skincare ingredients that can achieve this. And I am truly a believer of skincare. Now, people think, oh, well, skincare can't do much and you know, we need to have office treatments. And no, this is so far from the truth. We lose about 1% of collagen every year starting in our early 20s. So it's so important to stimulate your skin to rev up collagen production. My number one favorite is retinols. They can actually boost your collagen by up to 300%. If you're really consistent with using it and if you start early and you use it for you know, a number of years, they can truly erase wrinkles, they can help soften the pores, they can help smooth the skin, they can actually thicken your skin. And they do this 
by not only preserving your collagen, but also stimulating new collagen, enhancing the circulation of your skin. It's also been shown to boost your natural hyaluronic acid. Don't underestimate the power of retinols. They can do so much for your skin. And you will probably never meet a dermatologist that's not on a retinol because we know science has proven to us over and over and over again how effective it can really be. I personally use Lift and Renew, which actually we did studies on. We took Lift and Renew patients that used this product for 12 weeks, so three months, and we biopsied the skin that they applied it to. And we looked at that skin under the microscope, and lo and behold, there is new collagen fiber. So I'm not just making it up. It's scientific proof. Lift and Renew has very similar efficacy to tretinoin, 0.025%, but it's less irritating. So my patients that can't tolerate prescription retin-A or may not have access to it, then they'll use Lift and Renew because it's honestly been shown to have very similar results, less irritation, less water loss, because retinoids can be irritating. They can cause dryness, peeling, and that all really depends on how you use it. The formulation is really important. Check out Lift and Renew. There are also other really amazing retinols. If you can't get prescription for tretinoin from your dermatologist, Rock is a brand that is the OG of over-the-counter retinols. It's a great drugstore option. There is also Alpha Ret, which is a little fancier. You know, that has a retinol with an alpha hydroxy acid. It does make it a little bit more effective. The third ingredient are exfoliants. So the reason why exfoliants like glycolic and salicylic acid are so important for our skin is because our skin cells actually get very lazy as we age and they don't renew like they used to. They don't go through the layers uh, of the skin like when we were younger. So we have to boost our skin's cellular renewal process and exfoliants do that. They remove that outer dead layer and allow room for new healthy cells to enter the cell renewal cycle. And I have a love affair with glycolic acid and salicylic acid. They can really help with plumping up the skin, thickening the dermis, and they can allow other products to penetrate better by exfoliating off the dead skin layer on the outer surface. There are also humectants, exfoliants like glycolic, salicylic acid, they help hydrate your skin. So they can strengthen your skin barrier as well. Now you have to be careful, depending on the formulation, you don't wanna over exfoliate your skin. Honestly, you only need to use it once, maybe twice a week, unless you're using a very gentle, very mild formula and not on a lot of other actives. Then your skin may be able to tolerate it more than just once a week. Some of my personal favorites are Drunk Elephant has a glycolic uh, overnight serum that works really well. I personally use Clarify pads which have glycolic and salicylic acid and they're exfoliating wipes. I prefer wipes. They come as 60 pads that are pre-soaked. It's just really easy for me to do that. Shani Dardan has a lactic acid which is an exfoliant. My personal favorite is still glycolic and salicylic acid, but if you have dry skin or real sensitive skin, that might be a better exfoliant for you. Skin Better Science also has some really great exfoliating products and pads that are helpful as well. Number four, copper peptides. You may have seen that word bouncing around. Well, copper peptides are essential for your skin to make collagen as well as elastin and other vital structures. So there are lots of copper peptide serums out there that also incorporate the building blocks, the peptides for collagen synthesis. So they are sort of the supply chain and the mediators for collagen production. And so they can be helpful as well as antioxidants like vitamin C is really important for collagen production. But not only that, they really do help protect your collagen from getting degraded because when we when we go out there and we're exposed to sun and pollution and all these environmental stressors, what happens is they generate 
free radicals and uh, and impose oxidative stress on our skin and so what antioxidants like vitamin c do is they go around and they scavenge all these free radicals and prevent the damage prevent them from breaking down our collagen so they have a dual role is in that not only are they important for collagen stimulation but they also help prevent the collagen from getting you know degraded and so these are all ingredients that any skin type can benefit from now retinoids you really have to use them at least five times a week to see improvement and it takes time it takes at least three months to start noticing changes in your skin but long term it can be so beneficial well i hope that was helpful as options that are needle free that can truly make a difference in your skin give you plumper smoother healthier skin because at the end of the day we're always looking for health over beauty thanks for tuning in and if you found this video helpful share it with a friend comment below and don't forget to subscribe to my channel and turn on your notifications so you know when i upload a new video i'd love to hear from you let me know what you want to hear about next bye